Well, this week uh, we brought you the story of a 24-year-old man who allegedly stabbed two female students at the Australian National University in Canberra. Mm. I was perplexed at how long it took for him to be apprehended, but today we have an update, at least on that response timeline. It took ACT police four minutes to respond to calls about an incident on campus. 11 minutes, all up, to get the accused into custody and have emergency services administer first aid to victims. However, this morning we understand the university says it was not given important security information prior to the attack. For more, we're joined by ANU Chancellor Julie Bishop. Julie, thanks so much for your time this morning. Julie. First of all, let's just clarify the situation. What was the police response? Well, first, our thoughts are with our students this morning, including the two that are still in hospital. Yeah. But let me set out the facts. The attacks occurred at 2.40 p.m. on Monday on the ANU campus. The ANU security team were notified within minutes and 12 of our security team were at the scene. In the meantime, the police, ACT police and ambulance were notified and they were on the scene within minutes, apprehended the man and took him into police custody at 2.51 p.m. In other words, it was 11 minutes from the time of the attack to the time that the man was taken into custody. And I am so thankful to the ANU security team, the ACT police mm. and ACT ambulance services for the swift response. Mm. Do you know how the girls are doing, Julie, um, this morning? Yes, I spoke to the mother of the girl in the most serious condition last night and she is still in hospital. They are seeking to stabilise her condition, mm. but it's still serious. And so our thoughts are with the families of not only the two female students, but all students who were at university on Monday and all those affected. And we've offered um, full services, mm. support, counselling to everyone involved. Look, there were certain aspects of, mm. of the case um, you weren't informed about. Um, now, you can't discuss those matters today for legal reasons. But can I ask you this, how differently would the university have acted with all of the information? Had we been informed by the relevant authorities that there was the possibility that this person could be in the vicinity of our campus or could enter our campus, we could have increased our security and potentially have prevented the attacks from occurring. We have significant security at ANU anyway. Mm. In fact, on Monday, there were 12 security uh, guards on duty and two patrol cars. We have a network of CCTV cameras. So we could have increased measures to prevent the attack had we been informed. Julie, we know that with any university there are spra sprawling grounds, right? So any student is vulnerable in a setting like that just from the get-go. There are so many questions that haven't been answered here and this is, of course, every parent's worst nightmare. You've outlined some of it there, but what more would you like to know about the situation here so that we can safeguard students in the future? The ACT government has announced a review and we would like that review to address why our university was not informed of an increased threat. We were not informed that this person could be in the vicinity of the campus. But we do place the highest priority on student safety and wellbeing. Mm. We have a very high level of security. All our security guards are professionals. They come from military and uh, counter-terrorism and intelligence backgrounds. Uh, we have mm. a significant network of CCTV. I know all universities across Australia place student safety and wellbeing as one of their highest priorities. Not to ever betray um, a conversation that happened privately between uh, you and I yesterday, but is it fair to say you were steaming um, about this? I was first devastated to learn of the attacks and, of course, greatly concerned for the wellbeing of our students and our staff. It, it is a very traumatic incident and we are a very small and close-knit community. ANU uh, consider its students our family, so I was devastated by this and I know many people were traumatised. Mm. But yes, I was so angry that there was relevant information that was not passed on to the university. And that's why I want the ACT government's review to address 
why we were not given relevant information on Monday that could have prevented these attacks. All right, they've got you on their case now. Um, yeah. Good luck with moving forward. Appreciate you being on, as always. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?